we have gone outdoors. And what we're going to be doing today is looking at a couple videos. Uh, the first one we're going to be looking at is an ultrasound guided cannulation. So I'm going to walk you through my reactions to that video and hopefully share some helpful tips for you uh, along the way. So I think a few people have been in this situation before where we've had a couple of attempts at trying to get a drip in someone's arm and it's just not working for whatever reason. So the next step is to go to the ultrasound and that honestly shows you everything about how it all works and it, it honestly is the most helpful skill to have when you're trying to put a drip in someone's arm. So interanest.org has made this super helpful video. I don't know whereabouts it's from, but it's actually a really cool demonstration about how the ultrasound works and how it like all fits together in clinical practice. So we've got a nice view of the patient's arm in a good position. It looks like they've got a little pillow underneath their arm, which is helpful. The ultrasound machine's already set up, so we're just waiting for them oh magic look at that they this actually does not happen in real life but really i'm not thinking about this map every time i look at someone's arm for a cannula i'm just thinking what can i see and what can i feel and often it's what can i feel which is more important when you've got the ultrasound don't worry about what you can see and what you feel because that's out the window you've probably already tried that you honestly don't need to worry about this diagram because everything the ultrasound will tell you. Um, so just get the gel on, stick the ultrasound on. Don't worry about this diagram. All right, there we go. So below we've got the ultrasound uh, picture, which can be a little bit tricky to understand. Oh yeah, we've got some different cannulas. So look, essentially what we're dealing with here is there's two parts to this thing. There's a needle part which goes in the skin. So that's the that's the thing that breaches the skin and gets us access to that vein. Once that is is breached, once we have access to the vein, then the needle is removed and the plastic tube, which is called the cannula, sits in. And that's what we call the drip because the drip is the bit of plastic tubing that connects the vein to the outside body. So then there's this hub. This is just what we hold. Uh, with our fingers on either side and then we get to see a bit of what we call flashback that means that we're inside a vessel so we get blood and that comes back in this middle chamber here uh, the plastic tubing is around the outside of the needle and so when the needle retracts when you pull it back then you advance the plastic tubing so they almost like swap swap spots to be honest and this is just a different one here. I think I've used the pink one before, but I've never used this orange one down here. But they they look a bit different, but they're all pretty much the same. Yep, there we go. So there's some jelly on there. All right. They've gone for the elbow. All right, look at that. So that's really important. When you, when you can push a vein down like that, and then it bounces back. So let's just go back. So you see when they push that that thing that circle gets compressed and that is a really good sign that it's a vein not an artery which is the main thing we're trying to do we're trying to put the the tubing the cannula inside the vein not the artery or anywhere else so that's one thing i look for is is it compressible which it is and then the other person's trying to find other things. Oh yeah. Okay, so they've actually switched to Doppler mode, which is looking for flow of blood. And if you can see, there's there's blood flow. Oh yeah, hold on. There. So the blue bit down the bottom, that's um, the artery because it's pulsatile. And you can see that because without any movement, you can just see the blood going. Now, what they're trying to demonstrate in the next step is if they push uh, below where they're ultrasounding, if they squeeze that, then theoretically that should push blood back towards the heart, which is 
the direction in which the vein collects blood. So arteries go away, A for away, and V is uh, for vein. <laughs> but yeah, I just remembered artery was for away from the body and veins just uh, collect the blood um, back to the heart. But uh, essentially what they're trying to demonstrate is when you squeeze, uh, you know, a further away from the site that you're ultrasounding, if you push on that bit, then it should put blood back in the vein. And if that lights up, like this, if the same bit lights up that you were pushing down before, then that's another good step that you're in the right place. There you go. So squeeze and then it goes into that black circle that we were pushing down before. I don't really do that. I mean, compressibility is the, the main thing you look out for. Now, if you notice then, so just go back, they rotate the probe so it's like long ways. It's like the same axis as the arm. Now we get a good um, idea of how the vein runs. So we've got like essentially a long black rectangle now instead of a round, in, instead of a black circle. That's really important because we don't want to just put the drip into the circle and then it goes left or goes right, goes outside the vein. We want to put the drip inside the vein and run it along the course of the vein. If I'm, you know, so if I see the vein like that and it's a big circle, then I rotate it and it's like that way, then I'm going to insert my cannula along that same axis because that's the way the, the, the vein runs. So to make my chance of cannulation successful, that you have to enter the vein at that angle. They put the needle in, you can see it coming in. So the tip of the needle is that white tip that's coming in from the, the left side of the screen just below the guy's arm. Yep, so there's the tip and now we're inside the vein that tip is in. So what you should see in that chamber is that flashback, that red bit of blood that's coming back. And yep, you can see it just coming up the tubing there. And now, so what they're doing, you can no longer see the white tip of the needle because that's being withdrawn and the plastic tubing, which is like those two white lines, is being left in, it's, they've swapped places, the needle for the tubing. And that's what sits in the vein, the plastic tubing. So now you can see the plastic tubing's in the vein, which is that black rectangular portion on the ultrasound screen. The blood is in the flashback chamber and also in the tubing. All we've done is just put the needle in, gain access to the vein, We've put the tubing in and removed the needle. So now the needle needs to come out and we just need to secure it all in place so that we have a good access point uh, to deliver medication or to take blood or whatever we need to do for this patient. So the ultrasound at this point goes away. They've magically just applied all this dressing uh, and removed the needle. So the needle goes in the sharp spin then what happens is we get a, this is called like a tegaderm um, or some other dressing, depending on what, you know, the specific organization uses. And that goes around the site. The plastic bit, the plastic see-through bit goes around the site of entry. So that's really important. So we can look for signs of infection or, or anything like that, in which point we need to change the cannula. It might not be working. Yeah, it might be infected, it might be super painful. We need to see what's going on. If we cover it with the bit that's that we can't see through of that dressing, then that's not really that good. Yeah, so now we've got the, the cannula in sight. It's dressed. I don't know why they're going back with the ultrasound. Though they might be wanting to look at if the fluid... Yeah, okay, there you go. So when they push the fluid in, they wanted to make sure that the fluid goes into the vein. So you want, they want to make sure that the, the tubing is working, the cannula is working. So they push the fluid in and as you can see, it fills up that black circle with like, now it's more like um, cloudy sort of like white, um, white stuff on the ultrasound. 
which is essentially just the fluid that we've inserted. And that fluid is like usually normal saline, um, just salty water is what I tell patients. Cool. So look, that was a super helpful video. Um, hopefully my explanation simplifies it even further, but that was a really good um, demonstration of how to make sure you're in a vein and how to perform the ultrasound and guided cannulation. So yeah, hopefully that helped.